In this video, we're going to be outlining the differences and similarities between simple tasks that can be performed natively in Windows 11 and Linux Mint Cinnamon. Now, when I say simple tasks, I'm referring to basic things that people of any skill level regularly perform while going about their PC-related business. So, for example, moving files, taking screenshots, searching, navigating through Windows, etc. Just to be clear, we won't be diving into how things are configured and or customized in these operating systems, as that's going to be a potential topic for a future video. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate to newcomers and people who are on the fence about using Linux Mint what they can expect in terms of the basics. If you like these kinds of videos, please consider supporting the channel by subscribing and becoming a channel member. Thanks a ton. When it comes to simple tasks, there are actually more similarities than major differences between these two operating systems. I mean, it's almost like one of them was specifically tailored to be as accessible as possible for newcomers that are accustomed to the other. And as you'll see in just a moment here, some of these things are entirely identical. But first, we'll take a look at a few things that are a tad bit different, but still very similar. For example, in Windows 11, you can save an image of the entire screen to your clipboard and documents by holding down Windows Print Screen on the keyboard. Then you can paste the image into a document or editing app using Ctrl-V. Alternatively, you can press Windows Shift-S to bring up the snipping tool and then select the full screen option from there. That will not only save a copy of the image to the clipboard and documents, but also bring up a pop-up that you can click on in order to do some quick markup or editing. Note that these instructions apply if the snipping tool is on default settings and if the use the print screen key to open snipping tool option is enabled. To take a screenshot of the entire screen in Linux Mint, all you have to do is hit the print screen key. That'll bring up a pop-up window containing a thumbnail of the image where you can copy the image to the clipboard, save it as a file, or just cancel out the entire task. If you choose to save it to the clipboard, you can use Ctrl V to paste it into a document or editing app just like in Windows. In Windows 11, you can hold down Windows Shift S and then select the part of the screen you wish to capture. That will save an image to the clipboard and documents, but you can also click on the pop-up for quick markup, exporting, and sharing options. In order to bring up the rectangular select mode in Linux Mint, you hold down Shift Print Screen and then select the area you wish to capture. From there, you'll be presented with the exact same options you got for regular full-screen screenshots, meaning that you can either copy the image to the clipboard, save it as a standalone file, or just cancel everything out. Both operating systems also have an active window select mode. In Windows 11, you can utilize it by pressing Alt Print Screen on the keyboard, and then paste the image into something like Paint for editing and exporting options. You can also hold down Windows Shift S to bring up the snipping tool and then select window mode from there in order to get the markup pop-up. To take a window screenshot in Linux Mint, you can use the same Alt Print Screen keyboard shortcut and then from there you'll get the same options as for full screen and rectangular selection screenshots. Note that Windows also offers a free roam selection mode which, as far as my current knowledge goes, is not available in Linux Mint, but by all means, feel free to correct me in the comments if I'm mistaken. To bring up a file manager in Windows 11, you can either click on the File Explorer icon or hold down Windows E. The exact same applies for the Nemo file manager in Linux Mint, where the Windows key takes the function of the Linux super key. Navigating through open windows in Windows 11 is typically done in one of two ways. You can either select the desired window directly from the taskbar, or use the Alt-Tab key combination in order to do the same thing in a more advanced fashion. In terms of default controls, Linux Mint does this identically. However, it does offer some additional options for Alt-Tabbing, including the ability to customize the preview style and command delay time. To give credit where credit is due, Windows 11 has some pretty nifty snapping features. Traditionally, dragging a window to one of the screen corners or edges will snap it to the desired position, and then you can occupy the vacant portions with whatever else you have running. Alternatively, you can also hover over a Windows Maximize button in order to reveal a number of snap layout presets, which Microsoft treated as a headlining feature during Windows 11's launch. In Linux Mint, snapping works similarly to the traditional method in Windows. 
When you drag a window to a corner or edge, it will snap it to the desired area. However, natively, you won't get any suggestions for the remaining areas. Instead, you'll just have to repeat the process until you have everything organized the way you please. And on a side note, it's a little bit too clunky for my own liking. Luckily, snapping in Linux Mint works much more smoothly when done via the Super plus arrow keys shortcut, which, by the way, is also an option in Windows 11, where the super key is just called the Windows key. The following simple tasks are performed in the same way. It's Ctrl-C, Ctrl-V to copy and paste, and Ctrl-X, Ctrl-V to cut and paste. Alternatively, you can also perform the commands via context menus. To delete a file or folder, you select the icon and press Shift Delete to delete it permanently, or you just press Delete to send it to the recycle bin. To rename a single file or folder, in both operating systems, you can select the icon and hit F2 on the keyboard, or just right-click and select Rename. To rename multiple files, well, this is where things get a bit different. In Windows, you select the files and folders, right-click, choose Rename, type in whatever you want, and hit Enter. That will rename the selected items to the name that you specified, and add numbers for differentiation. On the other hand, in Linux Mint, you get a lot more options. You select the items you wish to modify, right-click, select Rename, and that will bring up a dialog window for batch renaming. With the Replace option selected, you add an asterisk in the Find bar in order to replace the existing names in their entirety. Then you type in the new name in the Replace bar and follow it with percentage sign N for enumeration. Alternatively, if you only want to change a portion of the existing names, you just type in the set of characters you wish to replace and then swap them with something new or have them removed by leaving the Replace bar empty. Note that Windows 11 can have similar capabilities if you install Power Toys, but since we're only looking at native OS options, I'm not going to be covering those in this video. In Windows 11, you can bring up the Task Manager by right-clicking on the taskbar and selecting Task Manager, or by pressing Ctrl-Shift-Escape on the keyboard. On the Processes tab, you select the process that's giving you trouble, and then click End Task. By default, the Linux Mint System Monitor does not have a defined shortcut, but you can easily configure one in the system settings. A bit more tediously, you can open it via the menu, and then the task works pretty much just like it does in Windows. On the Processes tab, you select the one that you wish to force quit, and then simply click End Process. In Windows 11, the search bar allows you to search for files, folders, apps, and even individual system settings. Even though its search capabilities do leave a few things to be desired, it is cool that you can look up pretty much anything in one place. The search bar in the Linux Mint menu works best when you're looking for apps. It also does a great job when you're searching for system settings, but only when you type in the name of a top-level settings category. Not so much when you're looking for individual settings, though. When it comes to files and folders, technically, you can look them up via the menu search bar, but more often than not, you'll be far better off doing so using the Nemo File Manager search utility. If you'd like me to make a follow-up video, let me know what simple tasks you'd like me to compare in the future. With that, thank you so much for watching, and as always, stay strong.